squeeze your buttocks. Sir. I have done? Mm -hmm. I have done, yeah. Okay. Have you done? No. Have you done what I yeah. said? Okay. Now, don't think of it again. Close your eyes gently. Now, do your diaphragmatic breath. Agnisara, see what a system is. Diaphragmatic breath is basic and that leads you to Agnisara. But system is the same. When you push in your abdomen, you should exhale. When you inhale, it should relax. Just you need to relax during that time. Uh, push in as much as you can and relax gently. Let it come out. Exhale when you push in. Start inhaling when you relax. So that more space is done. Now, this exercise, first you do this. Now with that, gently do one to four, four exhalation and then eight. And then now inhale four and then do eight. First thing you do, when you start, you do exhalation first to start with. Not inhalation, exhalation. Try to do eight exhalation. First one or two times, you can be become breathless, there is no harm. You know. Those who do not know yoga exercise in deep sense, they think that in yogic process there are no, you see, aerobic exercises, there are. The stand is like that, peacock is like that, shoulder stand is like that, breathing exercises like that, vigorous breathing exercises. You can make your height rate very high, you can lower down your rate. No, there is no exercise in the world to lower down your rate, except yoga exercises. But I believe that both exercises should be done, aerobic and aerobic. Now, mentally count, focusing your mind on the nave. You have exhaled, now you are inhaling. Now you are exhaling. Now count one, two, three, four with this seconds. And without anything you exhale eight. If you find difficulty, then it means you have gone, you have started too much, do it less. Three. Practice this. You shouldn't be. When you go up to thirty, you'll find yourself as though you are floating. You'll feel that you are really floating. You see? You are already floating in the air, though you are on the earth. You are floating in the air. All your cells are floating in the air. This exercise is very helpful. If two is inhalation, four is exhalation, but this ratio, you should be gradually doing it. And on and often, you should contact your teacher who teaches you, ask him, I feel this problem. Sometimes you feel, like this. It means you are trying to go beyond your capacity. Take your time. If you have patience to wait for six months,
and continue this without anything. You will have very good health. Your skin will show you how clean is your body, how wonderful is your health. Digestion will be improved. Thinking will be improved. Your memory will sharpen. Anyone can tell you that you, you are doing something which makes you very, this is lively. Okay, son, go there. Now, next step. After you have done this, try to minimize pause. You have already attained counts. Don't start it from the very beginning. Try to attain first thing. And the second step, minimize pause. I know only few people will do it, those who have been doing, they will try, but I promise any time they contact me for this purpose, I am available. No problem. If you don't do, I will know, because I might ask you questions and I will tell you, you are not doing it, you are just wasting my time. You are most welcome to do it. Between 9 and 10, I give you the time, those who are doing in the morning, to telephone me and I will answer your questions. And for special students, those who have been already doing and have attended something between 9 and 10 in the evening. My time, Honsdale time. If there will be no pause, then you have annihilated time. You got Kripa of Mother, you have done your effort, and you have got the Kripa of the Mother Divine. For time, space, and causation are directly under her kind control, and nobody can annihilate them. Even Rama Avatara, after many thousand years rule, he forgot that his time was over. King of death came to visit and says, Sir, your time is over. Yogi's time is never over. He is beyond all these laws. Just one thing. If he has known, because he has known how to annihilate this pause. Pause means death. If I create pause, long pause, exhale and never inhale, I am dead. If I inhale and never exhale, I am dead. Pause means death. If you know how to annihilate pause, you are free. You have gone beyond death. Look, without these exercises, these are preliminary exercises, important exercises for going beyond, for creating special culture to your mind, for culturing, cultivating your mind, so that your mind is not this mind, because this mind at present is not capable to go beyond, but that mind which is cultivated has potentiality to deep, to go to pairs, to go into deeper levels of your being. A time comes when the boat says, you have crossed the river, now you go ahead. You don't carry boat with you. So your mind, such a mind becomes a boat which helps you to go beyond. Two exercises. This is not, this cannot happen if you do not practice. You are inhaling and you are exhaling. Are you with me? Are you listening to me? Okay. So you do, you pay attention on this particular point, not on this, on this, on this. Many people do not interpret scriptures rightly. <laughs>